What's good, brothers? I just want to talk my shit, man. <laughs> I believe in our creator. I just don't know who the true creator is, you know? But, um, in terms of SR, like, lately, I've been feeling kind of down. <laughs> I mean, it's very up and down, you know? Like a roller coaster. I don't want to press record when I feel like I'm not giving you guys my best energy, I guess. Like my energy's not all hyped up and, and you know? It's like. It just makes me feel like. Um, Oh man, I, I think I'm just thinking too much about it, like, because I know some people support me, like, there's not that many of you guys, but I guess it's, like, disheartening to, like, know that, um, the response wasn't what I'm expecting, you know, but I can still do a lot more, you know, I need to just be more committed and just to know that as long as I inspire or motivate one other one other person, then it's going to be worth it. And it's not about my ego, you know? Thinking like, oh, I wish I had more followers or more subscribers, you know? But yeah, I hope you guys are out there still, still retaining. You know, I'm approaching five months on SR. Um, yeah, I, I've been getting like a lot of deers and headlights looking at me, like looking real spooked. People want to help me. You know, some people, the ones, the ones that are of light, they like to like help me and stuff. I've been catching people like looking at me and then when I look at them, they look away. It's kind of like, it's odd behavior, you know, or it's like, like, I don't feel like I'm glowing anymore <laughs> sometimes. Like my, or like this past week, I didn't feel like I was glowing very much. And, but this morning I felt like, I don't know, I just felt like there was like a light around me, you know? It feels so awesome when you're like on a peak as opposed to like the valley when you're going like up and down. Um, yeah. I'm at the beach right now. It feels very calm. It's like a nice foggy day here in SF. But I just feel the need to like really walk this path further before I keep making videos. A part of me wants to just like keep making these vlogs and stuff. I don't know why I feel a little more uh, afraid to like put myself on these videos. I feel like I'm not providing that much value, but I mean, at least I have a few subscribers that are like really like liking, giving me that positive response, you know, commenting and showing love and liking and stuff. So like these videos now are it's like. It's really for you guys, you know, because I know it's helping somebody out there. And I've been feeling like really tempted recently, dude. That's how I've been feeling. Sometimes I'm sometimes I'm afraid to like be really to really speak how I truly feel because I don't want to subconsciously manifest or like multiply these negative words you know I'm really trying to be more mindful of what I say I also want to like start practicing silence more so I could really conserve my energy and be more mindful of the words I speak like, have you guys seen uh, Nature Boy or Nature's Underground, Nature Boy 3000? He's like, 
you can just tell when somebody meditates a lot because they're very conscious of how they select their words you know and I just feel like my words I tend to like what's the word I tend to just like vomit out a lot of words it's like verbal diarrhea <laughs> sometimes I say something just to say something you know or like it's like my stream of consciousness which isn't like it's not a good practice I just really want to be more mindful and yeah you know and as for the temptation it's like there's been a lot of temptation a lot of tests but we all know that busting is not worth it. I mean, there's been a lot of videos I've seen recently where, like, a lot of guys are are trying to, like, say that, like, um, retaining with celibacy is, like, like, we're uncool or, like, we're not, we're not, like, uh, what's the word? Yeah, they're just trying to say, like, it's not cool or something, but, like, how is how is going around trying to get your body count up like cool you know it makes you feel dirty it makes you feel guilty and shameful it makes you feel empty dude after you bust I don't know about you guys but after I have sex with you know, a girl, I don't, I feel drained, <laughs> I feel, I don't feel blissed out <laughs> like I do when I'm on SR, I don't feel like I have that, like, natural smile, you know, I feel like, I just want to get away from the girl, I'm like, uh, get off me, <laughs> I just feel like, oh, leave me alone, because <laughs> after you get your nut, dude, you're just like, I, I got my nut. But sex isn't supposed to be like that, man. It's about... It should be mutually... Mutually... Beneficial. You know, finding that... That God-given partner. So you can... So you can both ascend and get closer to that divinity, you know? Have you guys read uh, The Way of the Superior Man by David Dita yet? I listened to the audiobook on YouTube. That shit is pr it's pretty deep, man. You, I definitely recommend it to all you guys. Like, it's a great concept to digest in. I think I just really need to um, transmute better, you know, keep leveling up before I keep making videos. I'm gonna just, or maybe I should just say what's on my mind, you know? I don't know why I feel so fearful now. I remember like a month or two, two to three months in, I just felt more like I felt more confident, dude. It was it was as if the the like the high that you get from when you first start SR, like that fire just felt so like so bright, dude. It just felt like like I cared less. Man, I don't know what it is. I just need to keep feeding the flame, I guess. Maybe I'm not being as I'm not being as pure as I can be, you know. Cause you know when you're, you know when you're doing your best. You know when you're like, when you're stumbling, and when you're not like, giving it your all. Like you approached it from every, every direction, like that, like Mamba mentality. You know, just trying anything and everything to like fulfill your purpose to just like not give up not be a quitter
I still got a long way to go. It's kind of like, it's like a dark thought in my mind, just like that self-doubt saying like, oh, you're not good enough. <laughs> or saying like, um, who are you? Who are you to talk? <laughs> you know? Like, who the fuck am I to even like, to even preach anything? Like, I want to inspire others, but yeah, I think I'm just like, I think I'm just struggling, man. Yeah, that's the honest truth. And I hate to like verbalize that. Like I said so many times, I just don't want to manifest that. But I also feel like I just need to be truthful with you guys, you know? Because this journey is not all ups. Like, there's a lot of downs. There's a lot of bad days, bad moments. And the tests, the challenges... It's difficult, man. It's not easy. But we know it's going to be worth it, right? Because busting for lust has never been worth it. That's the pattern. Trust me. I remember a few years ago, back when I was more in my wicked ways, an old friend from college hit me up to go clubbing with him, to go, like, you know, go smash. Like I never got laid, but but he he, he got, <laughs> he, you know he smashed a lot of girls, you know, and so I thought that he would continue that lifestyle of just like, uh, you know, smashing girls, like going out and stuff, but eventually even he, I think it was like a year a year or two ago, I my damn phone overheated. <laughs> But um, I, I was saying that like a year or two ago, I, I asked him to go out with me to the club again, but even he changed his ways and felt like that that uh, road leads to a dead end, you know? I remember Sadhguru said this one quote, something like, it's a sign of intelligence to keep wondering, but only a fool is damn sure. And that quote really resonated with me, man. It's just like... You know, when you're young, you tend to read books and you, you know, you're naive and you, you believe everything. You know, there's always two sides to a story, you guys. And you always got to verify the information, you know. You can't just read a text, like a religious text, and believe that everything in it is true. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, there's a lot of truth in the things we read. But like I said before, you got to look for the patterns, right? And always verify that, always verify the concept. You know? What's good, warriors? One good vibe I could share with you guys, or one good piece of news, I guess, is that I think it was like within the last week or so, like a dragonfly literally flew to um, my bedroom window. And like this bluebird, he keeps hanging around in like the backyard and like just hanging around, you know? And I just feel like. It's a good omen. It's like good energy being attracted to me. And yeah, man, it's just a good feeling to like see those those little signs, you know? As opposed to feeling that dark evil energy when you go to certain places.